It's so wonderful to be a part of this great planet. To wake up in the morning, breathe fresh air and see what's ahead of us. For those that believe in a higher power, there's an awesome God. He allows us to think with clear judgment and without malice. In the United States, we take for granted how fortunate we are. We have our freedom, self-expression, and the ability to become whatever our heart desires without dictatorship. The less fortunate must live with the hand they are dealt. There are third world countries where its citizens cannot voice their opinions, feelings, or insecurities without fear of being punished. My name is Wayne, and in my lifetime, I have faced adversities that a lot of people may never see. I was born and raised in Washington, D.C., and I lived in the projects for a short period of time with my parents. This environment consists of people from all walks of life. With hard work and determination, my parents strive to provide me with a home in a better neighborhood and an education to carry me to the next level in my life. As an adolescent, I was a good student and well liked by my peers and teachers. At age eight, there was a knock at the door by three military personnel who came to inform us that my brother, Sam, age 19, was killed in Vietnam. To everyone's astonishment, I took charge and informed the rest of my family of what happened while comforting my mom. My first drink was at the age of nine and administered by my parents during special occasions with their friends and neighbors. I was given a sip from a seven ounce beer that was intended to be harmless. And little did they know that I would acquire a taste for it. At 16, all it took was five friends and stolen alcohol from one of my friend's house to create a recipe for disaster in which fighting and police intervention occurred. At 18, I enlisted in the United States Marine Corps, and before being discharged, I received a second major blow, which was the sudden death of my beloved father. Between the deaths of my brother and my father, I began to struggle mentally. Being a street savvy, I did what I had to do to survive, determined to do the right thing. I became an intern with KGFJ Radio as a jock. In 1987, due to me being a follower and not a leader, I received eight holes in my body and was pronounced dead on the way to the hospital. With his grace, three days later, I woke up. In 1999, I started experiencing chest pains and had a triple bypass and my arteries were ruptured during the process. Once again, I was pronounced dead. In 2006, I was diagnosed with osteoarthritis. All the cartilage in my body was being destroyed and I was told that by the age of 60, I would probably be in a wheelchair. In 2007, I had my left hip replaced as a direct result of arthritis and the right to be replaced at any time. The pain is sometimes so severe that I want to scream. I am ADHD and bipolar. There are times that I want to jump off a bridge. To sum it all up, I wouldn't take no for an answer. I went back to school through all the adversity to fulfill my goals and aspirations. I can do it, anyone can. 
Well, what motivates me to continue is, you know, God in my life, faith, strength in my family. You know, with them, with them backing me up, you know, everything seems a little bit more simple than just, you know, having to struggle with it all by myself. You know, I'm a single parent. Um, I'm on Jackie, dialysis. I go three times a week. Um, I have end-stage renal disease. Um, and going there keeps me alive. But, you know, the love of my family keeps me going. You know, the force of willpower makes me go, you know, and do what I have to do to continue because I have to be there for them. You know, they're growing up, they're going to school, and I want them to have a good education, a good job, you know, and eventually have a good life. So, you know, faith keeps me going. You still feel blessed? Oh, I'm blessed every day just to be alive, she just to be here, you know, just to breathe. I think I'm lucky than most people, you know, because I have a family that backs me up and is there just a phone call away. You feel blessed? Very much. Um, what I've been through in my life, uh, it's been a lot of adversity. I've just never given up. sign of weakness. I consider a person that gives up a coward. Regardless of after being told that I may be in a wheelchair, doesn't make a difference. I will work out my wheelchair. Basically, this message is to you. you know, I'm, this documentary is about, it's showing that you can basically be anything that you want to be regardless. If I had no legs, I would still be doing the same thing that I'm doing now. God is my faith. That he was only talking to him. Pieces of a man. I saw the thunder and heard the lightning. And felt the burden of his shame And for some unknown reason Never turned my way Pieces of that letter Tossed about the room